Now from 21 Alive Plus, this is your FastCast. Good morning. We're taking a live look over Broadway Plaza on your Monday morning. Today is August 5th. It is officially back to school week, Liz. But we want to get a quick check of your weather forecast as we head into your new work week, your back to school week, whatever it may be. The heat and the humidity seem to be sticking around maybe today yeah. and tomorrow, but it sounds like better weather is on the way if you don't like the really, really intense heat, which yeah. I always thought I did, but I'm ready for a little bit of a break. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you know what? It's nice that at least by the time a lot of the kids are getting ready for school, it will feel a lot more comfortable. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I remember going back to school and getting on the bus in the morning when it's so humid and sticky. Yeah. It's just like a little uncomfortable. Yeah, so at least it's getting better by Wednesday and on. But today, not quite. I want to show you what's going on this morning as you get ready to head out the door. Satellite radar shows you a good picture. We have cloud cover slowly moving in. And over in Lake Michigan, some developing thunderstorms moving things over so that way you can see some of those storms that are just starting to pop up a little bit more. That will generally push into our region later today, bringing in some scattered rain chances. But rain totals today aren't going to be very high. Our better opportunity for scattered showers and storms is tomorrow. Future track shows you that. So here's what's going on for today. A few spotty showers at times for today with a little bit more cloud cover by about midday. But rain chances slowly start to dwindle down as the day goes on. Going into this evening, a few of us might get some bonus showers right around the evening time frame, but the best opportunity for that is going to be south of US 30. So again, not very equal when it comes to our rain chances today. Tomorrow, though, that's where things start to pick up a little bit more. Future track showing you as we go into tomorrow, some spotty showers and thunderstorms as a stalled front moves through the region, bringing us some on and off rain, but all in all, not looking to be anything crazy. If anything, this front tomorrow is just the sign of what's to come with the lower humidity on the way. 70s to start things out this morning. Temperatures get up to the upper 80s, even low 90s, but that heat index back in the mid 90s, Jess. Okay, Liz, well, hopefully, after the next couple of days, you, you get a little bit of a break as meteorologists. You can tell us all good news, <laughs> yeah. and then we can start giving you more money in your weather tip drawer. Oh, okay. I like that idea. <laughs> no promises. Yeah. Remember, I lost my debit card, so who knows? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Liz, thanks so much. We want to get a quick check of some of your news headlines this morning. The Fort Wayne man accused of stabbing a Kroger employee last December will have a competency hearing. Jamar Lewis is charged with murder in connection to the death of 59-year-old Perlinieto. Court documents say he told police he got into an argument with her at the Kroger and Wayne Dale left and then returned to attack and kill her. His attorney has filed a motion stating they may use insanity defense and if he's convicted, he faces up to 65 years in prison. Police in Kosciuszko County are investigating a plane crash that happened Saturday at Lake Wawasee. When Indiana conservation officers got there, they say they found a plane in the water. We're told luckily the pilot wasn't hurt but and was able to escape. The Federal Aviation Administration has since launched an investigation into what caused that plane to go down. Of course, we'll keep you updated. Ohio's recreational marijuana sales are starting up tomorrow. We're told the state will issue operation certificates um, allowing existing. It looks like we're having some trouble with this video here. Hmm. Well, it looks like we're not having Good luck with that video. So I guess I will just tell you um, all of the information. You know, it's a Monday here, so we're all trying to get things running back up again. <laughs> um, but like I was saying, Ohio's recreational marijuana sales are starting tomorrow. The state of Ohio will issue operation certificates allowing existing medical marijuana dispensaries to begin selling non-medical pot products. Back in November, voters overwhelmingly approved allowing those over the age of 21 to possess, purchase, and even grow limited amounts of cannabis for their personal use. And while it will be available at certain dispensaries tomorrow, it will also be subject to a 10% tax. All right, Liz, I want to see if hopefully, uh-oh, no, <laughs> we must be having issues all around because I had a great little video of these dogs going surfing to show you. You know what? It's kind of like those old school shows where it says stand by for technical yeah. difficulties. <laughs> Let me see if I can still find it on here. Okay. It might, I might not have good luck today, you know? You know, I think maybe it's just one of those days. It's a Monday. I feel like if anyone can relate to uh, technology not working, it's specifically on a Monday. Uh, That's always yeah. the worst. <laughs> where is it? 
I just want to see the video of the dogs. <laughs> Where are the little dogs? Okay, well, I'm just going to explain it. It's not going to hit the same. I'm telling you that right now. No. Basically, <laughs> these dogs in California did a surfing competition. <laughs> It, and it sounds was, it so was, much more lame when we it just was, explain yeah, it. Yeah, it was great video, it. so I'm sorry about that. You know, um, like I said, it's a Monday. It's a Monday. Liz, do you have any big plans for this week? Just surviving. Just surviving. That's about it. That's, that's the Monday goal always. You know, nope. yesterday afternoon, I took a half day today so that my dad and I can go to Colts training camp. We do it every single year. It's at 1 o'clock, so I'm probably going to get scorched. I need to put on a ton of sunscreen before yeah. we head out. But yesterday afternoon, I remembered I took a half day today. And I was like, you know what? That's a good way to ease into my week. Do a half That's day of work. Feeling. That should be just standard. Everyone only works like four hours on a Monday. You kind of ease back into things. <laughs> Vote Jessica Walter, a woman for the people. Yes, half that would be. Half days on Mondays. That would be what I would do if I ran for president. Yeah, I, I agree with that message. You know what? I endorse you at this point. <laughs> Liz is my VP. There we go. <laughs> Okay, well, since we um, don't have your awesome dog video to end your um, Monday morning, I guess we'll give you a live look over Broadway Plaza. It's not as entertaining, I know, but we hope you guys have a great day, and we're back here again tomorrow.